Hello! In this video we will learn what the algebraic and geometric multiplicities are and define the generalized eigenspaces. We let A be a square matrix with entries in a field K and over a possibly bigger algebraically closed field we can write the characteristic polynomial as x minus lambda 1 to the m minus 1 times and so on until x minus lambda d to the md. We now call mi the algebraic multiplicity of the eigenvalue lambda i. We also have the geometric multiplicity, which we will define as the dimension of the eigenspace for the eigenvalue lambda i. We can see that the algebraic multiplicities sum up to m to the dimension of the matrix. But since the geometric multiplicity can be smaller than the algebraic multiplicity, we have to define generalized eigenspaces which can be larger than the normal eigenspaces. So we define eig k of a and an eigenvalue lambda to be the kernel of lambda times the unit matrix minus a to the k and call it generalized eigenspace. We can see that if we choose k to be 1 then this is just the eigenspace that we knew from the beginning. A short computation can show that the generalized eigenspaces form an increasing chain of vector spaces. And since they are all sub-vector spaces of the vector space k to the n, which is finite dimensional, there has to be a step r where the chain stabilizes. We can write 0 as a sub-vector space of the eigenspace. This is a subvector space of the second generalized eigenspace and so on. And there comes a time, let's call it R, when nothing changes. We have two nice properties of this, of this uh, R and the eigenspaces. First we have that Ri, where Ri is just this R belonging to the, to the eigenvalue lambda i, is smaller or equal to the dimension of the Ri eigenspace. And this is just equal to the algebraic multiplicity. The reason that this is the case is the next property, where we have k to the m is a direct sum of the generalized eigenspaces. Only in the cases where all ri are equal to 1, so where the algebraic multiplicities are equal to the geometric multiplicities, 
Only then we can diagonalize the matrix. So in the next video we will see what we can do when this is not the case and we will see what happens when we try to diagonalize the matrix with generalized eigenvectors.